On my way home, stumbling on the pavement, on the pavement, yeah, yeah. No sleep in my body, last night got me wasted, yeah, yeah. Ain't nobody calling my phone up just to make sure I get home safe and sound, yeah. I'm pretty sure if I find Thank you very much. Have a good day. Thank, Thank you. you. Alone anymore, so I might as well sleep with the doors good morning and welcome to the new video, boys and girls. Dorian here, obviously. We are currently, guys, boys and girls, today is a Tuesday, so we are currently 11 weeks out. 11 weeks? What the hell? 11 days out. It's 13th of April and 24th of April we have a competition, it's official, I bought everything, I booked everything, hotel is booked, so we are 11 days out and obviously you can see from my face already that I'm getting tired, that I'm getting leaner and I'm just gonna walk you through 11 days out, so basically one and a half week out. What I'm eating right now, how are my macros before the peak week and what am I doing? So first things first, when I wake up in the morning, it's a fasted cardio still, so I will choose any kind of option. It's not that every single day the same, basically, uh, because one hour of, we have one hour of cardio, basically, and um, uh, I just choose another options. So today was basically uh, walking to the Starbucks to get a coffee and back, which is like half an hour or something like that. But from here, I'm actually gonna go to the gym and have 30 more minutes of a cardio on a. On a either on a Stairmaster, either on a, on a bike machine or whatever. So overall, one hour of cardio in the morning. Sometimes that will be a walk, sometimes that will be a jog, sometimes I will even swim in a pool. But this is the best option because we pick up the coffee, we woke up, went for a walk, half an hour of a walk, and then just from there, when we drink the coffee till the end, I'm Im immediately going still fasted to the, into the gym to finish that cardio and have a first meal of the day. I'm trying to postpone that first meal of the day as much as possible, even though I have like six meals per day right now. Basically, they are all really small, so uh, when I eat after that meal, immediately I feel like really, really hungry. When I don't eat, I actually don't feel so hungry, but when I put something in my mouth, I just crave much, much more of everything. So this is just gonna be, if you're interested, how I'm doing it right now for my first competition, how I'm gonna get myself in the best shape of my life currently. Then stick to it, sit back, relax, enjoy this video as much as you want. But before we start, of course, to support your boy, we are grinding, doing everything, even this competition for YouTube. So uh, click that like button, subscribe if you still didn't, and let's just start this video. Let's go to the gym. just like that we are back in apartment cardio is finished coffee is getrunken which means on german drank already and i went just for the something that is necessary on this last couple of days of a prep that is a mustard 
the condiment that I never liked, but right now started to be my life, to be honest, because life is usually ketchup, but we don't have a ketchup and we can't eat a ketchup. One and two and three. I got the comments uh, about my cardio, so now you know how the cardio looks like. Basically, I walk a lot, uh, every single day, 10 to 15,000 steps. So that was included uh, in the cardio, basically. Besides that, I was doing 15 minutes before the workout on a Stairmaster and uh, uh, 15 minutes after the workout, uh, basically, cardio. So it was half an hour. But right now, we are 11 days off. I don't have anything to do anymore. So right now, in the morning, I will go for a walk. And as you see right now, after that, I will go uh, for 30 minutes of a cardio and in the gym after the workout probably like 30 more minutes or something like that until the peak week where we're gonna have a full one hour of a fasted cardio in the morning and then the depletion trainings after so today wasn't actually such a like high uh, cardio day whatever whatever because we have a leg session today and we still didn't eat uh, this probably four less maybe only one uh, leg session after this one uh, is that we're gonna help because we are 11 days out from the peak week we are starting just uh, with the depletion trainings and everything so I'm looking forward to legs after I do the legs right now like so close to the competition I swear I just want to sleep whole day so anyways with that said we are back home and we are about to prepare the first meal of the day which is obviously the breakfast and it's already 12 p.m. just for you to know I eating right now around 12 p.m. the first meal of the day just trying to postpone it anyway stop talking let's eat for the first meal usually I will go always with the egg whites with the asparagus and avocado but right now we are 11 days out so we are changing a little bit and I'm using a little bit of this canola oil pan spray just one second we're gonna have a handful of spinach instead of asparagus this morning I guess we're gonna leave for the later because I'm not so hungry right now. When I'm hungry, I just want to eat something satisfying and asparagus from an air fryer, guys, on the prep like a cheat meal currently. From the next week, I'm not gonna use this anymore because I'm just gonna use uh, pink salt to track it a little bit better. But this was throughout the prep the life savior, guys. Go to the Walmart and grab a Uncle Chris Gourmet steak seasoning or a fish seasoning. It's epic. It just gives a meal so much flavor it's impossible just give it a try and put a comment down below or tag me somewhere because this is the best seasoning that i ever had now basically we're gonna do the omelet from uh egg whites 367 which is okay i'm gonna track it like that and we're gonna have a one whole egg we're gonna stir that up and it's gonna be our breakfast today Alright, that's basically gonna be the first meal of the day, set on a laptop, as I already said, this is the life savior right now, the mustard, zero calories, the yellow one, calories and macros for the first meal of the day is gonna be listed right now on the screen, so you can see it, I basically enjoy every single meal right now, everything tastes so good, but after the meal I'm actually even hungrier because my body just craves a lot. We're gonna have maybe one more meal after this and then we have a, a leg session. Just gonna sit, eat and work on my laptop. I actually have a, a couple of clients signed right now. If you want online coaching, I'm experienced even know, learning even more about the body and everything towards the, the competition and everything. So hit me up in DM or email and we can set that up. We are off to the next meal and I see you then. Alright guys, I'm about to prepare the next meal, which is gonna be the pre-workout meal. I don't know what to say, I fell asleep right now and I literally have a like, you know when the muscle is like vibrating, uh, my whole body is like vibrating. I don't know how I'm gonna survive this workout to be honest, especially leg workout. And what we're gonna have right now, the boy is gonna show you. I'm preparing the pan because once again I'm gonna have a egg bites but I also gonna have two rice cakes because today we have actually 100 grams of uh, carbs still 11 days out which is not so bad at all around 100 grams of carbs that depends on how heavy leg session is gonna be but anyway I'm just gonna have a basically two rice cakes which is brown rice a little bit slower digestive which I'm gonna need throughout the workout to survive it. 
and it's gonna be only around 30 grams of carbs and only source of carbs today real source of carbs any other source of carbs I'm still gonna use from yeah I just dropped that from the vegetables basically besides that I have a half an avocado which I'm just gonna mash up and put it on the rice cakes basically what I'm gonna have with that 350 grams of an egg whites see you while it's when while when it's done second or third third coffee actually of the day <sighs> all right the meal is ready as i told you already uh two rice cakes but a uh, little higher in the carbs so one rice cake actually has a 16 grams of carbs because it's a brown rice slower digestive with some fats of avocado to that glycemic index you know to to slowly digest throughout the leg workout just to survive it i don't know how i'm gonna survive it 350 grams of an egg whites and once again the mustard lifesaver and the calories and macros for this meal are gonna be listed right now on the screen it's currently 2.30 p.m. It's gonna be a pre-workout meal around 3.30. I'm gonna go hit the legs. I'm gonna try to film something. My videographer is not here. here. Uh, nobody can film me right now, you know. But I'm trying to vlog for you guys, basically. I got a comments like, stop imitating those kind of people. As I already said, I do my videos is how I feel. If, uh, if you see me low energy that's how i feel if you see me high energy that's how i feel i'm just being genuine right now my energy is low but i'm still trying to provide the content we are 11 days out so i just try to show you every single step by step probably the last leg session so i'm gonna try to film that too i'm gonna dig into this meal and then uh, drink my coffee then try to survive the leg session so i see you in the gym Right, guys the leg workout is finished and when you're on the prep there's nothing more beautiful guys than finishing the leg workout we are almost there 11 days out and it's still basically going my watch as you can see I don't know if you can but 80 minutes 
700 calories burn uh, I mean high rate doesn't go so high anymore because I'm tired exhausted basically but that's with like 15 minutes of cardio as I already said five minutes before just to warm up again and then 10 minutes after bike ride today so as I said already just trying to mix all the time uh, to fulfill that cardio in any sort of way shape or form a little bit in the morning a little bit before the gym a little bit after the gym in every way that I can just to finish that and we also have a uh, Chris Bumstead recipe right now that I saw on his channel preparing for Mr. Olympia so hello so we're gonna try that as a post-workout meal too uh, so yeah I'm in front of my building already let's go eat we just showered we have a chicken as a post-workout meal uh, like 280 no sorry 240 grams of a chicken we have uh, two cups of a uh, broccoli and that's basically gonna be it for the post-workout meal pretty simple yet effective but as i said the only source of carbs yeah i wanted to say that broccoli from air fryer or brussels sprouts or, or, or asparagus from an air fryer literally i love it when i'm not on prep but on a prep it literally takes like a big cheat meal so this is gonna be a post-workout meal right now two cups of broccoli 250 grams of chicken something like that calories and macros gonna be listed right now on the screen but after that we're gonna try the chris bumstead recipe i mean recipe zero calories i'm gonna give it a try because i create something sweet on this prep of course master's gonna go on that a few more days to go let's see this and i see you on the next recipe all right uh this is the meal that i was talking about i ate the post-workout meal and now we are off to that to try that chris bumstead recipe which is basically nothing but a ice i have this amino energy basically amino acids watermelon taste just one gram of a carb inside nothing else besides that so I hope it's gonna taste like a watermelon ice cream or something. We're gonna add a little bit of sweetener because we still have a sweetener two or three more days and then the last week, peak week, we don't have anything like that. Not even a whey protein, nothing. So let's give it a whirl. Let's go, Chris. like a watermelon watermelon by the way is my favorite flavor i mean chris bonsa eats that which means we're gonna win the show obviously if we eat that it looks like an ice a little bit pinky ice but let's give it a try oh wow wow my god this definitely tastes amazing right now on this prep i can't lie give it a try guys if you're dieting give it a try first time trying mm. watermelon taste wow and it's pretty high in volume to be honest and it's really cold so you can eat it slowly so anyway calories and macros for this meal are not existing because maybe it's like five calories or something I'm not gonna count that but I'm gonna eat this and then we have a i think two more meals or something but anyways, you're gonna be updated, probably gonna take a nap, so I'll see you after. You said things could only get better. I need it more than ever. Is it filming? Filming. Okay. Nothing fancy to see here besides my Kali hair, baby. <laughs> we are changing the appearance. And today was actually supposed to be total transformation of my face in some sort of way, shape or form. But unfortunately, since this video is too boring, we're gonna keep it boring. But on the next video, we're gonna have a little bit of surprise, let's just call it like that. But anyways, we are on the meals today, guys. And as I said, nothing fancy to see here. Stilapia and asparagus, guys. Pretty boring, pretty exhausting. Can't wait to have one more meal after this and go to sleep. This is all I'm thinking about right now. But the calories and macros for this meal are gonna be listed right now on the screen. And as I said, this is air fried everything I love. The air fryer just saves me, especially on a, on a diet and especially on a prep right now. So everything is going good. I didn't mention that I actually think that I'm going to be ready. Uh, I'm not going to show you physique until like the last peak week. Let's just say it like that. 
because basically I don't look so good right now. I if I watch myself in the mirror, look myself in the mirror, then yeah, I know and I see the differences and everything. But for you guys in the camera, I'm gonna look like really flat, even worse than before. But when you do a peak week and then after a refeed days and everything, I know my physique is gonna be probably the best I ever had. Maybe not enough for the competition. Uh, we took it four weeks out, but it is what it is. Experience is always there, as I already said. Uh, with that said, sit down, enjoy this meal as much as I can for like 10 seconds and then one more last meal of the day, watch some movie and go to sleep, baby. But the guns are already, well, first of all, small, but anyways, shredded. Yeah. You said things could only get better, I need it more than ever, they don't, don't. Currently preparing. Guys, the last meal of the day, I have a spinach, probably like two handfuls, and I have a, this romaine hearts lettuce, so I'm gonna use the whole one, as you can see, a big bowl of, the, of salad, and we're gonna add on some mustard, and also some hot sauce, baby, hot sauce for some additional flavor. Also, I'm gonna prepare peppermint tea just to fill my belly a little bit more before the sleep. Four more days and then we are coming into peak week. No sweeteners, no whey protein, basically no carbs, no anything. So it's gonna be tough. And that's gonna look like this. If you're following my channel, you know that I have a big appetite, that I eat a lot and I eat a lot of carbs. So when you deprive me of the carbs first things first my body starts to change second thing second i'm really hungry all the time but when you have a goal people in front of you you know you just need to suck up and you know you know what you want to do i don't expect as already said that i'm gonna do anything on this competition it's the first competition we all start from somewhere so even if i'm last I mean, of course, I would like to win. In my blood is to win, you know, and I would like to do that, especially for my first competition. It would be a really big surprise, and especially taking it four weeks out, but I don't expect that. So whatever happens, is gonna happen. I'm just trying to be my best at this position where I am right now. And in the end of the day, what we all have is to be happy, people, you know, just to try to be the best version of ourselves. And that's it, and that's what I'm trying to do. So with that said, guys, the last meal is here. And the calories and macros for this month are going to be listed right now on the screen. But anyways, I tried to like return in the beginnings of this YouTube where I was at the beginning, you know, trying to provide the content, trying to provide my knowledge, the things that I do and stuff like that. So it was basically a vlog. So what I wanted to do, because maybe it's going to be one more entertaining video after this, uh, and then uh, we started peak week and I wanted to do maybe a daily vlog in the peak week basically every day Just a vlog so put the comments down below what you think about that if that's smart or not because every day is gonna be the same as far as concerned a meal Obviously, I have already a videographer for a competition. You're gonna see everything tanning being in a hotel room one day out two days out uh, Show day everything is gonna be there my physique on a show day I'm gonna post everything about it, but before that, let me know if you wanna see like daily vlogs. Just let me know and I hope that you enjoy this video in any sort of way, shape or form. And also calories and macros for this whole day are gonna be listed on the screen. As I already said, today we had a 100 grams of carbs, but I hit only like 70 because leg session wasn't as expected, of course. Two more days of carbs uh, from 50 grams both days and then we're starting with zero carbs. And that's gonna be, I'm gonna show you everything. So thank you guys again for watching. Just help me out, put a comments down below what you wanna see. And of course, after that, it's gonna be a lot of entertainment. But of course, after that also, we are competing in a summer shredding. So that's gonna be epic. There, I hope that I'm gonna do something. And that's gonna be wrap up for this video. 10 p.m., time to sleep, really tired. Sleep is also really bad because your body actually uh, sleeps better while it's on some carbs and we don't have any more carbs so i sleep I, I wake up like five or six in the morning every day and okay stop talking appreciate you all love you all if you're new to the channel please to support me everything that i do is for you guys on this youtube channel and even though we are growing slowly we are still growing and i appreciate every one of you uh, every single comment that i receive every single dm that i see every single uh 
email that I receive uh, motivates me. Uh, even a one, if comes in a day, it motivates me to do a new video and I'm never gonna stop until I reach my goal and that's basically to grow the community and you know, for us to be all happy. And uh, thank you once again for watching. Like, share, subscribe. I appreciate you all and I'll see you very soon as always on my next video in a peak week. So thank you guys and I'm logging out. Bye. Well,